Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to show you some vehicle settings and how to modify them. Welcome to this new video. Until now I didn't really did a video on the vehicle settings because I think they are quite logical. But today I'm going to change these settings anyway because um, I mostly use the same, almost always display the speed. But sometimes I just quickly want to check my tire pressure and I find it quite annoying that I have to fiddle all the way through this menu with all those displays that I barely use anyway. So there is a way that you can adjust the menu to your own liking. Therefore you go to settings, you go to display settings, and then you have content selection. And here you can choose, and I'm navigating of course with the buttons on the steering wheel. Here you can choose what you would like to see. and what you don't. So the fuel economy, I think it's useful, navigation as well. Traffic sign, well, I don't find that quite logical as you have it displayed. Let me focus up there anyway. So I will deselect this one. Then driver attention. On all those years I'm driving Qashqai, I never used this option. Then music, audio. Well, I uh, barely use this. If I want to know my audio, I just check on the navigation itself. Cruise, that's one I use all the time when using the ProPilot system. So I will leave that on as well. Driving aids, I don't need them to display on the car itself. Tire pressure, that's one I use quite often then chassis control in the beginning i thought it was quite funny to see the um, system activate and the animation changing a little bit but uh, well that's just in the beginning so i think this is how i like to see my menu work for now so i still have my speed trip fuel economy compass and this is my pro pilot and tire pressure so you also saw here the cruise display and here you can choose for those that have the intelligent cruise control as I have or you have the pro pilot system so here you can choose if the cruise control display is automatically shown when, uh, whenever activated. So I will do that because especially with the semi-automatic driving, it's quite useful to uh, see if the car recognizes the markings on, on the road, yes or no. So the other options I won't show you because they're very obvious and they're well explained in the driver's manual. So you know what they say, just read the manual so i hope this little video helped you and i see you in the very next video bye bye